This is Lucy. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a delicious, easy, canned vegetable beef soup in our Dutch oven. This video is by request. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. We are up in views. Over 16.5 thousand of you are enjoying my channel on a daily basis. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And close to a thousand of you are returning daily, enjoying my videos and binge watching them. That is so exciting. And I'm thrilled that I'm able to help you and make you enjoy YouTube and the videos that they have to offer out there. When we get to 900, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards, one for new subscribers, one for people who comment. If you're new, please say hi in the comment section down below. And be a U.S. resident. If you comment all the time, you must already be subscribed and a U.S. resident. It is that easy. And when we get to a thousand, every hundred subscribers, we issue out gift cards. We're going to do a bigger gift card. We're going to do two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards for the thousand milestone giveaway here on YouTube. A thousand is a big deal and it's on my way to launching my channel even further into the algorithm. With that said, Please give this video a big thumbs up. It'll certainly help me out. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. The bell is extremely important. It helps you get notified when I upload and it helps me gain my views. I'm going to show you what you need to make this delicious vegetable beef soup. Everything you need is on the counter here. You're going to need the beef patties to the left, the garlic salt, canned potatoes right here in the back, mixed vegetables, a tomato soup, a black pepper, some onion soup mix, which I'll use about a tablespoon, and the elbow macaroni or whatever kind of pasta you have available on hand. Plus, we're not going to use box or canned chicken broth. We're going to use chicken bouillon cubes to make this soup. I went ahead and started the pot of water on the stove for the macaroni, and we're going to add About a tablespoon of oil to the bottom of the pot. As you see there, don't worry if you drop anything. Dump in the, the beef patties. And I have my friend's wooden spoon set my husband got me for Christmas. I'm going to break up the beef. And then we're going to season it before I add in any of the canned goods for this vegetable beef soup. And everything's going to cook in this Dutch oven. I love using my Dutch oven on the stove top, especially in the winter months when it's bitter cold out. It's going to be warm 10 degrees today, going to zero or below at night. So about a tablespoon of onion soup mix, as you see me doing. So frugal using onion soup mix. My husband doesn't like a lot of real onion. Three teaspoons of black pepper. Onto the beef patties. And about three teaspoons of garlic. You can use fresh ingredients if you wish. This is a budget friendly version of vegetable beef soup. I'm just going to drizzle about a teaspoon or more of my cooking oil. I have a couple of these on deck in my cupboard. And we're gonna take our tomato soup mix that pops from the top. I so wish all of them did that. I'm gonna dump in the entire can. And you're not gonna dilute it. I'm gonna set the can aside because we'll be using it to add liquids. And you're gonna take two bouillon cubes and dump it on in. If you want to use canned or box broth, go ahead. I prefer to use this method. And I don't switch back and forth between beef and chicken bouillon cubes. I use chicken bouillon cubes for everything. Now I went ahead and I rinsed and drained the mixed vegetables for this. Just dump them in. And 
ahead and sliced up all the potatoes here. And you're just going to dump them right into the Dutch oven. Adding some extra substance to that soup. Now you're going to take your soup can and you're going to fill it with water. And you're going to dump it right on into the Dutch oven. You're going to fill it up two to three times. About two cups of water. You want to fill it to about here. I believe this is a 10 ounce can, so about four 10 ounce cans of water to fill it about halfway. Now we're going to bring this over to the stove top and check on the water to see if we need to add the pasta. It's not quite a raging boil yet. We're going to get the Dutch oven onto the stove top. As you see here, and get all of these ingredients cooking. Right to front. I'm going to set it to high. Now let's check to make sure the burner is turning on. You're going to mix while you're waiting for the water to finish boiling. And it's just about to a raging boil here. I'm going to add in two more ingredients from my refrigerator, about a tablespoon of ketchup and a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. So I've got a tablespoon of the ketchup and a tablespoon of the Parmesan cheese into the Dutch oven. And mix all of that in. All the ingredients and flavors are going to marry and combine and simmer. And when this comes to a slight boil, it gets all bubbly around the sides here. As you see where the spoon is, we're going to reduce the heat to four and a half. This is just about to rage and boil. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the pasta in into the burla elbows and dump it on into the pot. And I always save the box because we have a gerbil. Mix your pasta. I added some oil to the water and some salt. The pasta is going to cook for about 10 minutes. Set the timer. And this is going to cook for about 10 minutes. And when this boils, we're going to add half of the pasta and cover it for 10 minutes. I'm going to turn this down to four and a half because it's all bubbly and everything on the sides has a ton of big chunky vegetables in it. The ground beef. And this pasta is almost done. It's got about three minutes. I'm going to retrieve it a little earlier because I don't want it quite al dente. And then it's going to be transferred into this pot and cook further. I'm going to remove the heat. I'm going to remove the Dutch oven from the heat momentarily. I'm going to place it back down. I am going to take this pot over to the sink and drain it. I turned off the heat completely and turned off my timer. I'm maneuvering our colander from the kitchen sink to the stove top. Be very careful with the water. You don't slip and fall. 
Now we're gonna let this cook for another 10 to 15 minutes on four and a half to reduce the heat to low, covered. Now you can see right into the Dutch oven since I removed the stock pot with the elbows. They are perfect. They're not too soft, not too hard, and they'll finish cooking in the Dutch oven, which is exactly what you want. You take your lid, and then reduce it to two on your stove top and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Behind the scenes, in between long periods of non-recording, I like to get cleaned up so my kitchen is ready for the next meal. And I'm gonna be putting away the spices and the scissors, some dishes, and washing what's Before in Before we check soup. on the soup, I cleaned up the countertop my new stack of dishes is drying, and I washed out the sink. And now we're going to check to see how the Dutch oven's doing. There's about six minutes left. In the Dutch oven, see how it's doing with five minutes, 34 seconds left. I'm going to stir it a little bit. Oh, it looks absolutely incredible. Homemade vegetable beef soup with everything you have on hand. Big chunks of beef. Big chunky vegetable pieces. Noodles. Perfect for a bitter cold day today. I'm going to cover this up. Let it finish. I'm going to set up the other counter for, with a bowl so you can see what it looks like in a bowl. So you can see what I'm doing here. We're going to take the lid off together. I have my pot holders and a spoon ready. I have some leftover meatballs that I'm going to also snack on between now and dinner time. Here's the Dutch oven. In goes the soup. Lots of beef, big pieces of vegetables and elbow macaroni, our homemade broth. I'm going to show you a close up. It is steaming hot and it looks awesome in the bowl here. I'm going to let it cool down. Look at that. Everything was already on hand in our cupboards. And here's what it looks like in the Dutch oven. And it smells so good, I can't not wait to eat. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. I will make sure I put everything that you need to know on how to make this vegetable beef soup in my description box down below with all kinds of other useful information that you should know about my channel. If you're new here, I really appreciate you checking me out. Thank you to everyone who returns every single day. Close to a thousand of you return daily and I really appreciate each and every one of you. I especially appreciate you sharing my links to other websites. That has helped me boost my views here on YouTube and getting through that algorithm that is so important. Don't forget when we get to 900 we're going to issue out those two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards and we are getting closer every single day. We have the big $20 gift card giveaway from Dollar Tree when we get to a thousand. All that information you need to know is down below in the description box and you just need to be a US resident. If you comment all the time be subscribed. If you're new give me a shout out down below request a video. This video was by request. 
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to tap on that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that bell because that lets you know when I upload a new video and it helps me get my views.